Welcome to another edition of the Dallas Mavericks Report. I'm Dwayne Price. Well, it was one of those crazy bad nights for the Dallas Mavericks. They didn't lead the game at all against the Toronto Raptors and wound up losing 94 to 86. The Mavs just didn't have it. They shot 38% from the field, missed 21 out of their 28 three-point attempts. Harrison Barnes led the Mavericks with 23 points. Didn't get much help. Uh, Steph, Seth Curry scored 11 points. Yogi Ferrell came off the bench to score 10 points. Barnes just said it was one of those nights where the shots weren't falling. They were moving the ball from side to side. Shots just wasn't going in. Yeah, I mean, when you get down early, I mean, especially kind of caliber teams that we're playing now, I mean, you just have to almost just be you know, perfect in your execution, especially defensively. And, you know, we would make those runs. Um, you know, these teams have talented players. Obviously, DeMar commands a lot of attention. And we do a job on him, and then we have to just get back out to shooters and not let them get, you know, wide open threes are easy. Under the room shots. And now the Mavs are four games behind Denver for the eighth and final playoff spot in the Western Conference. And I don't know if it's going to happen, but they got 11 games left. And this loss, what it does, is guarantees that the Mavs will not have a winning season this year. They're 31 and 41. The Mavs are 1 and 2 on this four game homestand, which ends on Monday against Oklahoma City before the Mavs hit the road for a five game road trip starting on Wednesday in New Orleans. This will be the first time since Mark Cuban bought the team on January the 4th, 2000, that the Mavericks will finish the season with a losing record if they lose one of their remaining games. And there's a good shot that that's going to happen. And we talked to Mark Cuban about that a few days ago, and he was not pleased with it. What would you expect for the team in terms of, do you think they'll start experimenting for the rest of the season, or how do you see this probably playing out? You know, it's funny you should say that because before the game, uh, Carlisle in his pregame uh, interview with the media, he was saying some things about the experiment because now they have, of course, moved Seth, Seth Perry from shooting guard to point guard, moved Harrison Barnes from power forward to small forward, Dirk from center back to power forward, Wesley Matthews from small forward to shooting guard. So they are doing some experiment right now. And I know deep down they get ready to try and see what they got going in the next season. They're not going to come out and say that they can't tell the fans we're trying to lose because they're not trying to lose. They're trying to win ball games and they're trying to get into the playoffs because they, they breached the playoffs 15 of the last 16 years. The only team that has done it better is San Antonio who did it 16 out of 16 years. So they, they like the fact that they can get into the playoffs and keep that record going, but I don't know if it's going to happen this season. All right, Mavericks are going to take the day off on Sunday and they will be back on Monday. Right, they play Oklahoma City on Monday, then they start a five-game road trip. Um, Wednesday in New Orleans, they're also going to play Memphis, Milwaukee, Sacramento, and the Los Angeles Clippers on that road trip. This has been a Dallas Marriage Report. I'm Dwayne Price.